to IT Made Now and the future of world-altering artificial intelligence that could be shaped by researchers right here in Indiana. IT Made reporter Cody Fisher takes us on a deep dive into the future of artificial intelligence. Researchers at Purdue tell me that artificial intelligence is going to impact every aspect of our lives, from farming to medicine and even how we learn and write. Dr. Shnahashish Mukapade has 30 years of artificial intelligence research under his belt. He says AI isn't what people imagine. Right now, it's basically computer code like this, called an algorithm. An algorithm is basically a step-by-step -step way of solving a problem. To dumb it down, Mukapade compares an algorithm to making tea. You first warm up the water, put the uh, tea bag in the cup, pour the water, add milk and sugar, stir. Those same types of steps can be applied to any thinking problem humans can do. But with fast computers and the AI algorithm, it can do it very quickly. There is no doubt it will be everywhere. Already. Dr. Arjan Duresi and his team of student researchers are coming up with ways to measure how people trust current AI systems in farming and in medicine. Right now they're better than doctors in detecting cancer. The problem is that doctors somehow are afraid to use them because they don't know how they're going to reach the decision. Dressy's team is trying to find the Goldilocks zone of usability and trustworthiness for AI systems. You cannot embrace something or trust something if you don't understand it. Right now, he says artificial intelligence is essentially a child. It needs supervision that he calls humans in the loop. And in some distant future, most likely when AI becomes really adult, then instead of considering like simple tool, as today, we have to consider like a colleague. Until then, we'll have childlike forms of AI, like chat GPT. You log in, you ask it a question, it spits out writing. Professor Bradley Dilger teaches writing at Purdue. He says chat GPT is an artificial intelligence chatbot that is really good at producing basic papers when you ask it to. Right now, it is not good enough to produce papers about very specific and obscure topics. And it's not alone. As an example, he used a different AI chatbot to create a cover letter for a job using his resume. How long does this usually take? Didn't take that long for my daughters. Okay, that's almost right. Uh, it's eight years or nine years. Okay, that's correct. Yep, that's correct. All right. Yep, correct. Yep. Okay, now it's picking something up out of the job description about anti-racism, right? Like one of the qualifications you have to, you know, be opposed to racism, discrimination, etc. Right? Yeah. I mean, it's a cover letter. What'll happen is if it's really easy to generate a cover letter the value of a cover letter is going to go down. And there's going to be other ways that we measure people's potential for jobs. Dilger says they're already thinking of ways to prevent kids from cheating by using AI chatbots. But he says the problem of cheating is not new to teaching. You know, and, and it's very hard to stop somebody from, you know, paying $100 to some company to write a paper for them. I mean, we know that happens, you know. We try to do things to make that less likely, like asking students to turn in drafts, uh, asking students, again, to pick topics and to pick subject matter that's not generic you know, that's very specific, and then, you know, actually working with material that they're interested in. All of the researchers I'm speaking with are optimistic about the future of AI, but they admit it could potentially be dangerous as well if the creators of the technology don't do it properly. What's a worst case scenario that you see if the proper care is not given to the creation of these? The worst scenario ever, in my opinion, is if, if this is misused, like anything else. Technology in general is not it's neutral. You can use a weapon for good or for bad. So that's the worst scenario, that somebody uses this for, for bad uh, goals. Like a child, if you feed a child a lot of biased uh, view of the world, the child will grow up to be biased. The provost of Purdue University tells me they've created new majors for computer science and philosophy so Purdue students can be the ones to help create the future of smart and morally sound artificial intelligence. Reporting in Indianapolis, Cody Fisher, Wish TV, IT Mate.